Sure thing. Do you want to have it standing here, or do you want to find a seat first? All right. Now, on to the drinks. Do you want to have mead, wine, or just plain milk? Okay, then. Likewise. How does it feel to be the mighty hero of Skyrim? Distinguished for such tasks as... Being a courier. Being a courier. Being a courier. And lastly... Being a courier. <laughs> what? It's true. Almost everything you've done revolves around that. Go to this place. Kill some things. Pick something up. And deliver it to someone. Hmm. I read this book once. Oh, that was ages ago, really. And it was already falling apart. It had a very sweet love story between... Of course, when I was very young. It was so silly, too. The vampire glowed in the sun. Whoever came up with that hogwash? So, what do you want to talk about now? Don't you ever get tired from these kinds of adventures? Venturing into a decrepit, dusty old crypt, skulking with Draugr and traps? And why is that? <laughs> Me too. Maybe I'm just tired of this whole dungeon thing. Alright. So, what do you want to talk about now? I do believe that we can. I've read a similar concept before. It was in the new type theory proposed by a Dwemer philosopher long ago. He said that if men and myrrh alike cast aside the shackles of what has binded them to selfish squabbles and struggles to power, they could mentally evolve, in a sense, to be higher beings, new types. People who can more easily detect the thoughts and intentions of others, and are more amissible to understanding. I would like to remember the name of the book, or the author, but I'm afraid it's been lost to time. Alright. So, what do you want to talk about now? Oh, which one? He's great company, I can tell you that much. Inigo always finds a way to lift our spirits, doesn't he? If there's someone, besides me, to always keep by your side, I think it should be him. All right. So, what do you want to talk about now? Hmm, it does feel kind of normal, but that's from me, speaking as a vampire. Even as I'm undead, or however you put it, I still do feel like a normal person, mostly. I still breathe, feel, and sleep, except now I just have a great desire for blood, and the sun kind of irritates my skin. These symptoms are rather mild, though, not like other vampires who almost burn in the sunlight. So, I'm really just like you mortals in many ways. Hopefully that makes me more relatable. Ah, uh, it's nice, spending time like this, just having drinks together, 